What's going on everybody? Today I want to change the EGR valve on this Transporter 5.1. It's a BTDI model. Uh, CFC is the engine code, I believe. Um, it's actually quite an easy job if you remove the front. It's not as difficult as you would think. Um, you can do it on your driveway. It's actually quite simple. So let me show you how to get that done. So the first thing you need to do is remove this top panel right here. There's three plastic tabs there and a little plastic screw piece. You can just pry that out. That's sitting on top of that. Realistically speaking, the first thing I would do is drain the oil and the coolant. So just open that up, let it drain out, let it bleed out. And you can undo this coolant pipe here. Just let that drain out as well. Once the system is pretty empty, you'll be good to go. And then you can start working on the rest while that's draining. Now, the next thing you want to do is remove the front bumper. That's just laying here. So you've two screws in the front, on the left and on the right. One goes through that hole there. One at the top, same on the other side. You need to remove this panel here. It just pries out with a plastic tool. And then you have one more screw right in there. You also want to remove, partially remove your wheel housing or your wheel liner. So you have one screw here, one here, and one at the top here. There it is. Then you can just pry this whole contraption over and you get access to another screw from the bottom here, which is this one. Screw it in from the bottom. And these two 10 mils here which you can get at if you pry this over. There's one and the other one is right over it. Now, I undid the fog light by undoing the bottom piece here. That's another three screws. Push it down and you can get at this plug here because it's very short and I wanted to just lay the bumper by the side. It's connected to this cable which goes under the light. I didn't want to remove it, so I just undid that. that. This tab is actually clipped into this. So when you remove the bumper, you just undo it and you can lay the bumper by the side. For the other side, there's two big plugs here, which plug into these. Same procedure on this side. Here are three screws in the wheel arch. Here are two 10 mils that go in here and the screw from the bottom. Quite simple. On this side, you don't need to undo the fog light. This is actually part of the wiring loom. You also need to undo this plastic in the front here. Another screw in there. Quite simple, actually. Uh, you can get a second person to help you out with that or put a blanket underneath so if it does fall on the ground it doesn't scratch it. Uh, the next thing you want to do is remove your intercooler. One screw there, one over here and a hose clamp right there which you can get at if you take a long screwdriver and go through here and right onto that. Same as on the other side. There you go, there's a hose clamp. You can actually get through the top here and just undo that guy. That's for a camera, not everybody has that. I think that was added after. There's two screws in the top here, one on the left and one on the right. If you undo these, you can press this little rubber block. You can press it down 
and then you have space to actually tilt tilt the whole assembly forward. There's two more screws from the bottom here. I can show you that. There you go. There is one that will release the whole package. And there's one over on this side. I don't know if that's going to focus. Yeah, there it is. Uh, if you get like 10 extensions uh, and just go through here and the same on the other side, just go right up through here, you can get at it then. So once you have that undone, I undid these water pipes here. So you have this small one that's going to the top of the radiator. And this big one here, I undid that one. And I just laid the cooler package forward or the radiator package I laid forward enough so I can get at the actual EGR cooler itself. Uh, I did not want to evacuate my AC, but if you can get your AC evacuated beforehand, you can actually take the whole thing out. Then you just disconnect the two AC lines that are right there, these two. Um, this pipe just stays there. It's just clipped into the top. Just unclip it, zip tie it up so it's out of your way, and then you're good to go. You can also remove this part if you need more access. It's just a few, few bolts around. I didn't need to undo it. I don't think you really do, so I won't get into that. Now I just show you the unit itself. You have four bolts around here. Yeah, so four bolts around here. I just got these. They are, what is that, an M8, star bit. And there's one larger one right here. That's an M12. Now, this pipe, undo that at the very end when you're actually taking it out because it's impossible to get at. It's part of the actual of the actual dipstick tube that goes up. You can undo it on two points there and just lay it by the side. There's one plug at the very top here. Your outlet and your inlet for the actual pipe. And you have three water connectors there, that one, that one, and that one. Once the front end is off, these are all easy to reach. They're all easy to get at. Also, I removed the dipstick tube or loosened it up. There's one screw at the top here, and there's actually one bolted right here. I believe that's a T25. Uh, you need to remove that to obviously remove that whole unit. If this helped you in any way, please consider liking, subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Um, I hope you succeed. I hope you get it done. You save some money and I'll see you later. Thank you.